right here in this neighborhood, there were three Chinese grocery stores, three of them. The closest to me was Wang Bilim. The second one was Wing Li, who's right in that corner, Purple House. And then uh, right here, um, it's, it's not there, but uh, there used to be a, a Chinese store on Main and, um, and Fifth Street. Me acuerdo, I remember the store here at um, uh, Grandy, Grandy Market. Era una tienda de chinitos. There was a big store. It was like when we go to Walmart, but this was, was uh, Frank was the owner of that store. I remember Frank. Mm -hmm. That's where we used to go do our shopping there. Ahí comprábamos la comida para la semana. You know, and then the other thing about Vaidanita, we had the chinito store. And he used to have papers on everybody. And so if a mom sent you to the store, he wrote in the little piece of paper. So when we had money, he would take the paper and says, well, you owe me so much, and then my mom would pay him, and the different families would pay the chino. Mm -hmm. That was our credit, yeah. store credit. And uh, so the chino kept track. There were seven Chinese stores in our barrio. Mm -hmm. And the low family, those, that's the one that was closest to our house. There was three stores. Well, in this one, Anita Street Market, we had, um, no teníamos una, una cuenta ahí. Mm -hmm. Veníamos, íbamos con la cartera a comprar whatever we needed there. Sometimes dulces, chicle. And uh, back then it was all on credit, you know, you'd get your little, what they used to call the cartera. It was a little notebook. Mm -hmm. You'd go there and you'd get what you wanted and, and then they'd mark it down and and then at the end of the month, he would pay him. Sometimes I would go overboard to the point that sometimes the cartera wasn't available to me because, I mean, the charges were <laughs> way over budget, you know? <laughs> you know, buying sodas and quequitos and, you know, all the junk stuff, you know? But there was also two stores. There was one there, and there was one right before you got to Davis School. There were... Uh, there were a whole bunch of Chinese little corner stores. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the uh, Anita Street Market was one of the latest, more modern mm -hmm. one. That originally was a, a little Chinese grocery store there. And we, my mother used to work part-time. There was one on the north east corner of Davis School there called Wing Lee. I went to school with one of the sons named Johnny Lim. Another block, there was a Chino Loco. Chino Loco. <laughs> Chino Loco. <laughs> Two or three blocks more on the east side was one uh, Chinese grocery store, and then, and then that one pretty nice one uh, where the Anita Street Market is. And then they had they had one right on Speedway that was really really new. Unfortunately, that's when they made their underpass and widened Speedway, and they had to tear it down. But it was uh, it was a fairly fairly new new store. So that um, uh, on the outskirts, well, I guess it's still Barranita on Main and uh, and, and Sixth Sixth. There was a Chinese grocery store. Where Holy Family Church is, the building is still there across the street. Was another Chinese grocery store. Ralph Lim, his mom, uh, his dad was uh, from China, mm -hmm. and his mom was Mexican. And they had a they had a store. They had a store in the barrio in that area, and they had a store near. Uh, I think his store was, which I can't remember, because I used to get pie saladitos from him. It was going toward Davis somewhere in that area. And we, uh, Lim is a, well, it's a common last name, but there's a lot of Lims and, what, you know, Lees. And, because yeah. I, I, I met Alan Lee from the Alan Lee market, but that was in John Spring in junior high. Mm -hmm. 